Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fun dabby dozy day. Today I'm going to share with you my worst in-store Louis Vuitton customer experiences. Before I get into those experiences, I just want to say that these in no way reflect upon my lovely, lovely client advisor Fergus at Bond Street Boutique. He is wonderful. He always looks after me. He always treats me well. He drops me a message every now and then just to check in, see how I'm doing. And I think we have got a very good relationship. He really, really looks after me and I really, really appreciate it. And I always try and give him my business. If there's something I'm in the market for at Louis Vuitton, I always try and go to him. And what I'm gonna tell you, I think also illustrates how important it is to have that kind of relationship with a client advisor, someone you can go to, someone you can message, someone you can trust. I've had client advisors in the past where we didn't get on and I kind of felt obligated to continue being in contact with them um, before realising, do you know what, actually this isn't a, this isn't a beneficial partnership for either of us. So uh, let's move on. Let's find another client advisor. So um, find yourself a client advisor by hook or by crook. It will be absolutely worth it for you. Okay. So I'm going to go in sort of reverse scale of just how shit they made me feel. And what I mean is we've all had those experiences. You know, we've all been ignored in Chanel, haven't we? Um, so that's nothing to write home about, but these are experiences that actually left me feeling pretty horrible, pretty sort of like, just horrible inside. And, you know, we talk about how a luxury shopping experience, especially in boutique, in store, the champagne and the treated well and all of that kind of stuff is such a big part of dropping so much cash on these, let's face it, frivolous things. And um, so, yeah, to me, that whole experience is really, really important. And these are these are examples of where it went wrong. The first one was it started off being a really great experience because I contacted Fergus in I think it was October, November 2019 when the Christmas animations were out and all of a sudden I thought, you know what, I'm going to see if I can get the little Vienna round coin purse because I really want a round coin purse and I can't get the plain ones anymore um, and they just never come up on the pre-loved market so I'm going to see if I can get a new one with the Christmas animation. And I, I dropped him a message and I said, Fergus, how are you doing? How's everything? I bet it's all manic, ramping up for Christmas and stock and all of that kind of stuff and requests coming in. But if you could let me know if you get any of these round coin purses, uh, then I would be hugely grateful and I would uh, like to buy one, please. And he responded with a photo of him holding one and saying, look what's just come in. Would you like me to, to put it on a side for you? And I said, Oh my God, that would be absolutely amazing. I can't make it in for three days though. Is it going to be okay to, to hold for that long? I think it was a Friday and I couldn't get in until the Monday or something. Uh, he said, don't worry about it. I will put it to one side for you. It's yours. Don't You don't have to worry about missing out. And um, so that was fantastic. And this is what I'm talking about. Getting that relationship with the client advisor, getting getting the ability to do things like that, where, you know, the usual might just be, sorry, you snooze, you lose, love. So come Monday, I pop into Louis, I get into London and I pop into Louis, and I knew already that Fergus wasn't gonna be there, it was just gonna be his day off, which was upsetting because obviously I wanted to see him. Went up to the meet and greet and I said, hi there, I'm picking up um, a piece that's been put aside for me. Um, the name is this, uh, it was Fergus that put it aside for me okay, we'll get someone to come and see you. So I wandered around for about 10 or 15 minutes and a current advisor came over and he looked so fed up. He came up to me and he was like, yes, you're picking something up, is that right? And I was like, 
Um, yes, of course, I'm all excited because I'm like, <laughs> but the edge is starting to come off a little bit, and I think, uh, okay, where's this going to go? Yes, I'm picking this up. It's this is the piece. Fergus put aside for me. This is my name. Blah blah blah. Went through that whole thing again, and he was like, right, fine, okay, wait here. So <laughs> off he went. He came back, and he basically sort of just walked past me, kind of waved the box at me as he went past and um, went straight to the till so I'm paying for it and at that point he's like is there anything else you want well is there none of this made me feel special I've just spent 240 quid on a round coin purse that is normally 160 quid but you can't get them for love nor money and they've been discontinued I'm really excited I came in I was all smiles I was like hi how's it going and you're just like <sighs> can't believe I have to deal with this kind of attitude and um, I wandered around a little bit afterwards with my little bag I thought well I'm here now I'm, I'm gonna have a look around and maybe if there's something I like the look of I'll put my name down to see someone different not what I would call a great luxury customer experience if you are new to my channel then my name is Gwenny and I love luxury in all of its glorious forms generally speaking including the luxury in-store experience the champagne that's my kind of thing if you love luxury in all of its glorious forms then go ahead hit subscribe ring my bell join our little gang of fan dabbies show the videos you enjoy the thumbs up love and don't forget to follow me on instagram okay the second worst um event was when hubby and I were flying out to the States for our American road trip in 2019 and I had a list of uh, things that, from Louis Vuitton that I wanted or I wanted to eat, at least have the opportunity to see in real life. It all started off quite nicely. Uh, how may I help you? Oh, thank you very much. I'm on the lookout for these things. It's all a little bit of a bristle because, you know, you're asking for canvas toiletry pouches and stuff like that um, and not, you know, a £3,000 twist handbag or capucine or something like that you know nothing leather uh, so <laughs> I was like do you have any of these items and they did have one of them they had one and it was the toiletry 15 and she went and got it she showed it to me and I was like oh my god it is the most adorable thing I have ever seen it is so cute I said this is brilliant I will take it thank you very much and she said brilliant okay let's do this so she went round to the till and she pulled up my account and then she said, she looked at my account and she went, oh. And then she wandered off and was talking to her, I can only imagine it was her supervisor or the manager, in the corner. And they were literally... <laughs> at each other. And I was standing there with hubby going... What do you think that's all about? Afterwards, I considered the fact that it could have been because I had bought a toiletry 16 a few months earlier, and maybe that was something that they were triggered by when they saw that on my purchase history. I don't know what it was, but by the time they came back and, and she said, um, okay, I will sell this to you. I, I, my first thought and what I wanted to come out of my mouth was, gee, thanks. Um, but I paid for it and we left and I said to hubby what do you think that was all about that was a bit weird and it made me feel like they were super suspicious that I was up to something nefarious or sinister or something like that and I really really didn't like it at all it made me feel awful an awful experience and one that stayed with me more than the initial brushing off do I have to help you kind of experience because it was more I think the first experience was more about them like maybe he was having a bad day he was the one that was grumpy and everything this occasion she was really happy to deal with me it was all going really well and then she looked at my purchase history and they went off into the corner whispering and looking at me and it was just like being in a playground again like with five-year-olds <laughs> Um, yeah, and it just made me feel horrible. So, the big one, the big one that made me feel really, really awful was back in Bond Street Boutique. 
and I was with my lovely wonderful Fergus and he was showing me bags, he was showing me the Neo Noe, he showed me the Saint-Onge, 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 don't know how you pronounce that, and a couple of other things that I was looking at and uh, I had decided after maybe two or three glasses of champagne that I was going to go with the Neo Noe with the black trim. So I said, let's do this, Fergus. Thank you very much for all your time. I am going to buy this bag today. And he said, excellent. Uh, let me go and ring it up for you and we'll get it all packaged up and everything. So he went off, spoke to his supervisor and, uh, and there was muttering, there was all sorts of stuff. And uh, Fergus came back to me and he said, I'm very sorry to have to ask you this, do you have your passport on you? <laughs> what? I don't have my passport on me. Who does that in their home country? Unless there is some sort of legal requirement to do so. Um, no, I don't have my passport with me. And um, he was like, I'm really, really, really sorry about this. I was absolutely flabbergasted and I said to Fergus, so if I can't produce my passports, I'm not going home with Miss Neo Noe. And he said, I'll, I'll see what I can do. So he wandered off um, and, and he was visibly kind of, oh, what's this all about? So anyway, he went off and he was gonna try and speak to the supervisor, the manager or whatever. I was sitting there thinking, I've made this decision to spend a grand on this bag and uh, now it looks like I'm not going to be able to buy it because I don't have my blooming passport on me. We have technology on our phones and I was able to get onto my cloud storage and everything and I just happened to have a scanned copy of my passport on there for another purpose where I had to email it off for something um, so when Fergus came back to me I just showed it to him and I said look I've got this is this good enough this is my passport you can see this is me all was well I paid for the bag he gave me a little hug and uh, and off I went and that really stayed with me because there was levels of suspicion like why wasn't I allowed to buy a bag Okay, I've heard that there are quotas at Louis Vuitton that you're only allowed X number of canvas pieces per year. I was nowhere near hitting any kind of quota like that. This was my first bag purchase with them since 2016. In three years, it was my first bag purchase with them in three years. Whatever it was, it made me feel really, really horrible. So, um, all I can say is get yourself a client advisor, get a relationship going with them, they'll look after you. Don't expect them to jump through hoops or anything like that, you know, they're human beings, they've got to do a job, be respectful for them. You know, it could be a bit tiresome if you hit them with 121 questions and they never make a sale out of it, so just be mindful of that and I am mindful of that. I do the research I can do myself and then I reach out to Fergus when I've got much more of a definite idea of things. So, um, those are my worst experiences at Louis Vuitton. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've had any terrible in-store experiences from that luxury shopping experience we all adore so much. <laughs> um, let me know your comments and your thoughts in the comments section down below. I do hope you have enjoyed this video, although it has been a little bit of a ranty one not my usual upbeat positive kind of stuff and um, so until i see you yes you boop, for the next video please stay safe be kind to yourselves be kind to others stay fan dabby dozy and bye bye